Hey guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use subqueries in SQL. So first, let's just go over what a subquery is. So subquery is basically a query within a query. So it's basically a select statement within another select statement. And you can use it with pretty much any DML statement. So we can use it with select, insert, update, delete. So what I've done here is I have created these two tables, employees and departments and i have some data in there so five rows each so let's start writing our subquery so let's just select from my employees table so i'm just going to do select all from employees so here i'm selecting all of the columns from my employees table and let's say if we want to see the average salary next to each one of the employees we can use a subquery. So what I can do here is let's just give it an alias. So I'm just going to call it E and I'm just going to select E dot all. So this is just going to select all the columns from the table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a comma and then here I'm going to write my subquery. So this is the basic syntax of all, all subqueries. So it, it's always contained within brackets or parentheses. So you're always going to have this and it always starts with a select statement so whenever i do this whenever i have a select in another select statement that's a subquery so i can just do select average salary from em employees okay so let's just run this part of the query so we get 94000 so this whole thing is your subquery now and if I want to give it an alias, I have to do it outside of the brackets here. So I can just do as average salary. So now if I run it, it's going to include all the columns from my employee table. And it's also going to show me the average salary next to each one of the employees using my subquery. So we can see here next to each one of the employee salary, we have the average salary. And we can just add on here. So we can also do for max salary like the highest salary we can just select from here again and instead of average i'm just going to do max and we are going to call it like the highest or max salary and now if we execute it we see all the columns and we see the average salary and the max salary so this is how you use a subquery so this is your subquery so whatever is inside is your subquery and whatever is your main table or your main query, that's your outer query. Okay, so this is your basic syntax. It's, it's always going to have a select statement and it's always going to be contained within brackets or within parentheses. Okay, hope you understand it now. So now I'm going to write another query where I'm going to use a subquery in my where clause. So let's say if I want to find like the employees who have the highest salary. So Let's select from our employees table, employees. So this is our employees table. And I want to find the employees with the highest salary. So we can see here is this 150,000 Jeremy Garcia employee ID three. So I can, I know the highest salary is 150,000. So I can do where salary equals, and let's just copy paste it here. So in my where clause, I have where salary equals this. And if I execute it now, it's going to give me all of the information for Jeremy Garcia along with his salary. And this is the highest salary. But I can just simply replace it with my subquery here. So I can just do, again, open and close brackets because we are using a subquery. It's always going to have a select. So now you know, as soon as you have open and close brackets and a select clause, you know it's a subquery. And we are just going to select the max salary from our employees table employees and since we are doing max it's only going to return one value so this part just returns the 150,000 which we were manually adding there so now we are replacing it with a subquery so if I execute it now it's going to give me the same result so Jeremy Garcia with the max salary okay so this is how we are going to use it in our where clause and you can also do like an in statement so we can do in and in this statement, you know, we can have multiple values in the, in the in this statement. So this is going to work and I can just also do select salary. I can just also say select salary from employees. 
rear salary is greater than I can just say let's say 60,000 so now we are just using a subquery but here we are using an in statement so it's gonna give us all the employees that have more than 60,000 salary and we remember we can't use uh, an equal sign here equal operator because it only works with one value so we can't use this it's gonna fail okay so we are gonna use an in statement here in case if our subquery contains multiple values okay and finally I'm going to show you how to use a subquery in our joins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select from our departments table and let's just call it D. So let's just select from it here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to start writing a subquery. So again, open and close brackets. We know this is our subquery and I'm just going to say, let's say, select all from select all from employees as e and from our employees let's just select actually let me just execute this part so we can see the employees in the departments table so what i'm doing here is i'm in my subquery i'm selecting the department id and the total salary so i can just do some salary as total salary and since i have an aggregate here i can group it by department id so let's execute this so we can see the department and the total salary here and what i can do is i'm selecting from my employees table here so this is my subquery and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to join it with my outer query outer table which is departments table using a left join so i'm gonna left join this whole thing this whole subquery so this whole thing is a subquery so let me just put indentation here so it's easy to read and then i'm gonna join it on d dot department id equals sub dot department id okay let's execute it now okay so now it's showing us all of the departments along with the sum of the total salary so so let's say in it department this is the sum of the salary in human resources this is the sum of the salary and we can add more to it so we can also see if you want to see the count of employees we can just do count star as count and let's execute it now now it's also going to show a count so in all departments we have one employee none in engineering and then in our it department we have two employees so in this example, we just joined our subquery. So this whole thing is a subquery with our outer query. So with our departments table. So this is how you use subqueries and joins. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe below. And let me know if you guys have any questions.